Hello and welcome back to QPR. The last time I finished my big wheel, more or less. Let's look at it. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, I think it's nice. And I think with the white shimmer stone or shimmer tiles, it does look pretty nice. Oh, and there's our shrine. So, like I said last time, I would like to build a ship. So, I don't have any ocean here. And I don't intend to turn the desert into an ocean like I did in the multiplayer world. <laughs> because that's just too much work. And that wouldn't be any fun. But I would like to build the ship on top of a mountain. I think those mountains would be too uh, far away. I just liked how the shadow of my own hand actually was reflected on the glove. So maybe up here. But the problem is that I can't see it. Huh. And building it here is really not the best move. So let's just get up. Maybe I can find a nice spot on top of the mountain. I have a long way to go. But I can see the end. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So. Oh. It's like in an elevator, we just need some nice elevator music. Yeah, building it on top of this is out of the question because we have the uh, observation tower there. And the space is not enough for a ship. The ship would be on a really tiny, small, little part of the ship body. And that would look pretty strange. So. Please don't be a bit too confused. I am a really sleepy right now. For some reason. I did sleep pretty well, I guess. Not that long, but well. And I could remove this ugly thing. Can't even see the bakery from here. At least not really good. Hmm. I can see a tiny friction of it. Can I? Uh, mm, yeah, a little bit there, but not really much. <laughs> it looks like it's not really even it's just because of the dirt that's that got over the uh, um, body of the mayan temple mayan pyramid so i could build the ship here i would just have to remove everything mm. Finding a good spot is the hardest part. Uh, but I wanted it to be on top of a mountain. And my tongue is really heavy today. My tongue doesn't want to talk. 
That's not good. Pella, 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 pella. <laughs> there are some tongue exercises that you can do to get um, a better feel for your tongue or something. And there are also um, voice exercises so that you get better pronunciation. Um, maybe on top of here? Uh, I found pictures of the gorge fog that I will use as a base. Um, hmm. Mm, uh, they are not really... I can't... It's not straight enough. Uh, mm. <laughs> I don't want to build close to the Evangelion because Unit 2 will overshadow everything. Maybe I should really do it up there, the uh, observatory is not really that beautiful anyway, so I can get rid of it, no one would care. Oh actually, um, if you're watching this video pretty close to its release, then... I can inform you that the trailer for the PlayStation VR 2 version of Cube VR released. It's a really awesome trailer. When I watched it for the first time, I got goosebumps because the music was really epic and the scenes shown were really nice. They had the cutest gecko ever and I really liked it a lot. I will link the trailer in my comments. So check it out later. Uh, will I take anything else with me? Um, how to make the dark processed wood? Mm, I'm not sure do I have dark processed wood? Yes. Okay. I will keep it at this for now, so let's go up there and remove everything. I hope that I can remove the grass and the trees and stuff like this. I don't want it to be like here with the bakery. The bakery, not the... I Ping, my tongue slowly woke up because now talking is a lot easier. It's really strange. I'm awake for what? Six hours? Eight hours now? Yeah, eight hours is probably, yeah. So I'm awake for eight hours. I had lunch and I had breakfast and lunch today, actually. For breakfast, I just had, I will. I will use the bucket, it's faster. For breakfast I had yeah, nothing special. A cup of tea, actually two cups of tea, and a cookie. A nice little cookie, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey there. Choo. Choo. You're cute. I wanted to get the crystal. So... Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so two cups of coffee and the cookie. And for lunch I had chili con carne. And my new monitor came. Because I will move in two weeks. 
I will have a whole room for my VR. That's what I said a couple of times already. I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm really looking forward to it. Having your own hobby room is just awesome. It just shows how much I grew over the years. From having no room at all to having a spacious apartment with a nice VR corner and now a whole VR room. <laughs> it's just cool. So yeah, and because in the new VR room I can actually play on a desktop again, I needed a second monitor because the only monitor I have is the normal 1080p monitor that I got oh, 10 years ago, 12 years? I think I had it when I started with my apprenticeship. That was in 2012. I had it already. Did I already had it? When did I get it? Huh. I think 2011? Yeah, I think I have this monitor since 2011. <laughs> so I have it for quite some time now. Oops. I wanted this to be a bit lower. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Ah. Not lower, I want it to be one higher. So let's get them all back. Come here. So, so yeah, I have this monitor since 2011. It's really old. Never used it in the last five years because I'm watching on my television. My TV is a little big. A little bit bigger, that's what I wanted to say. So, yeah. Right now I have 75 inch. Or was it 85? 80? Something really big, about more than 2 meter in diameter. And that's pretty big. A bit more. Okay, I can live with this. So, this should cover everything on this side. So, from the height. Is this the highest point? Uh, I think we can go from here. So yeah, I wanted to get a better monitor. At first I thought that the 1080p monitor would be enough. But on second thought, why? Why should I still use the 1080p monitor? I will use it for the secondary monitor of course. Because then I can stream flat games on borderless full screen on one monitor and having chat and everything else on a second monitor. That should make it a lot easier to keep track of everything. So <laughs> Let's hope that this will work. Well, it did cut down the grass. I would say that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. So, come here. Oh no, that's...
So. And the copy blocked or gone. Okay, good, good, good. So what we can do, make this a bit more even. So. That's more or less okay. Then we are going to collect some of the wood. Now the chest has a nice height. I can build from the chest now. That's good. So. I just remembered, do I really want to have white wood? Or would I make it with white concrete and stuff like this? I can show you pictures of the gorge fog so that you know what I'm going to build. Just need 12. Um, come on, poor assist wood. And then I can make the picture for him. So, it will take some time to get the pictures. Maybe I should reduce the images in the folder. So... Yeah. That's what it's going to look like. <laughs> the problem is I don't have any good scaling. I thought that I could make those like star shaped white wood. And star shape means we in diameter. So those are five blocks maybe I should just use one block because the whole ship will be so huge I should have googled how big the gorge fog is actually maybe that would have made it easier I mean I will not rebuild the gorge fog I will just use it as an example so let's say this is one block then it's Two, four, eight, ten, fourteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, twenty-eight, thirty, forty, a bit about twenty-five meter tall. Uh, sounds about right. I also have another picture. Uh, here with the sail. Yeah. Now the sun is coming out, that makes it a bit harder to see. But. We can do this. So the ground here should be like black. But how much? So if this is like one block, that means it's two, four, five. It's like this is ten. One hand. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, about fifty blocks. So twenty-five meter. Twenty-five meters sounds short. Uh, maybe 60 blocks. I should collect the wood first. Then I can make 
the first rough sketches. Meh. Oh, it seems like I collected it. Okay. Ah. Uh, getting the wood. Nice. Today is one of the first days where I can play VR with an open window again. Because it's not cold. The last couple of days were really cold in the morning. It was below freezing temperature. And even at days sometimes it was really cold. It became a bit warmer after the sun came out. But most of the time it was cloudy, so no sun for us. And today it it wasn't so sunny when I woke up, but it became sunny a bit more. A bit later today, so I set 60 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 60. It looks pretty short. Let's make it 35 meters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this is what the black part will become. The black part will be like... What does it look like? Four blocks? Nah, maybe two, three, three blocks? Yeah, I think three blocks is okay. Let's see if I have some colored blocks left. I could maybe build like a super huge ship. <laughs> I mean, someone actually built a life-size USS Enterprise, if I remember correctly. And I think it was the Empire State Building. Thanks to the building height in QPR, that's possible. I could try to make the Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is just the name of the... of one of the belts inside of the tower. I think it was called... Queen Elizabeth Tower or something? I'm not sure. I don't want to say anything wrong and I don't want to uh, enrage any British visitors and viewers. So I'm not sure. I'm sorry if that's not the correct term. So, uh, Black. Black Mesa. This goes here. And I will use those for windows. I don't need these. I had dog processed wood here. I will get some more. I can need this. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Will I go with white paint or with... White concrete. I think white concrete is okay. So white concrete and... Do we have black concrete? Do I have black concrete? Oh, 
I was standing on top of a torch. That's why I saw myth um, steam coming from my um, suitcase. Some smoke. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, here, black paint. Okay. Here. Black fabric, a lot of grass. Uh. Mm. Then I guess I have to go with black paint go in at least we get 32 blocks from one crafting recipe so. oops oh. Oh, what don't I need I don't need wet I don't even need red for anything. Red is just... I usually use crimson red because the crimson red looks a bit darker and makes it look better. So, yeah, I could barely see the observatory. So the ship will be also almost invisible. But we can see a bit of it, so that's the good part. Maybe I should place a teleporter here. Yeah, let's do this. Mm. Which one looks like a ship? This one looks easy. <laughs> Come here. Uh. Uh. Oh, I'm too short, I can't teleport on top of it. Then I have to use the roof of my watermill to start flying. I'm like one of those birds that are too heavy to start off, so I always have to jump from a higher location so that I can start flying. There are actually quite a lot of birds who have this problem. And once they land on the ground, they have a really hard time to get into the air again because they can't elevate by flapping their wings. So they have to find a um, slightly higher altitude starting point where they can jump off from and start flying. This looks like there's a part that I didn't discover yet. Or mm. well, it's just desert. Like everything else, it's all just desert. So we Whoop. I do have some crystals that I can use. Good thing that I grabbed the crystal that was lying below. So black paint. There's even more black paint, nice. So we will start here. Well, I still have to figure out how thick the first 
player should be maybe four. I can't make it too narrow because then the ship would just tip over. I could make it narrow and then just put some supporting scaffolding blocks on the book to make it look like it's... No, I don't think. But if I make it a bit too far away, then it would look like it is placed inside of the mountain. That's also not good. Ah. <laughs> It's, it's sunken in the past couple of years. Ah, that looks good. Let's make it like this. So. I should get plenty of coal up here still. I'm pretty sure that if I just dig around a little bit, I can find quite some coals. I mean, there are copper here. So coal is not that far off. I just wanted to be pre as precise as possible. Oh, oh, come here. Oops, that was unfortunate. So, actually something that happened the last couple of days. Akira Toriyama died. The creator of Dragon Ball, Dr. Slump and the game designer for the Dragon Quest games. He died at age 68. Which is not even that old, that's when you can get into retirement in Germany. So, yeah, it's really sad that he died. <laughs> and Ghost of Tsushima actually got a release date for PC. I think I should make it like this. Here will be the end. I said like three blocks. Come on, move. So, it's really hard to tell the outline of the black blocks because they are just black, you don't see anything. That's what also makes it hard to build my Evangelion. Especially when I had all of those black blocks. I don't have that many right now. But I still got quite a lot for the uh, knees on the shoes and yeah, it actually doesn't look like much, but it was, was maybe about, oh, I did messed up a little bit here. Okay. Oops. Really hard to see anything. <laughs> Would a torch help? Uh, no, not really. Oops. 
And another one here. Like this. Oops. I wanted to move this one here. Hmm. Did I make a mistake somewhere? No, okay, okay, it's it's all good. So. Last time when I was checking on my Evangelion, I thought that some of the blocks at the feet actually disappeared because I couldn't see them. But then I noticed that they didn't disappear, they were just black. <laughs> because the black is so black that it looked like there was nothing. Those blocks are vendor black. Come on, sir. Go away. Mm. Maybe I should keep some of the wood. It was a bit too big. So. so yeah. I can be stupid sometimes. <laughs> that felt like slicing. So I'm really uh, looking forward to Ghost of Tsushima. That game came out like 10 years, uh, 10 years, 4 years ago. And it did quite a lot for the actual island of Tsushima. That is a real island in Japan. And... Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima actually... Uh, helped get more knowledge of the actual island out to the public. I think a lot of creeps and not creeps, weeaboos and otakus actually went to visit Tsushima. And I can enjoy this on PC pretty soon. On my new monitor that has 144 Hz. So, oh, don't fall down. We now white. A lot of white. White concrete. I think that was here. White paint. Ah. Mm. So this is the starting point. Oops. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I think this this can be a really good ship. It will become a lot longer and then it will be like maybe 40 meters or 80 blocks. Maybe even a bit more. I forgot to place the teleport of... <laughs> Next time. Wait.
next time. So. For today we are done. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Check out the PlayStation VR 2 trailer. It has some really awesome footage and it's really well made. Maybe I should ask Dumpik Studios to make my videos in the future. <laughs> Just kidding. But he did a really good job. Check it out. So yeah, till next time. Please stay healthy. Bye.